Hey guys, it's Kristen here with Find Your Balanced Dog Training. In this video, I'm continuing our recall work with Miss Sadie, and we are now starting to phase out the leash guidance and moving to just using the e-collar communication and guidance um, in getting her to do her recalls between the two place cots. So as I'm calling Sadie, um, anytime that she doesn't understand what I'm asking or she doesn't respond like you saw right there, I just reach in, pick the long line up again, give her that extra little bit of guidance to get her going, and then we go back to just e-collar communication. So this is how we kind of transition um, between some of the phases and try to get the dog responding on solely the e-collar communication so that we can have that great language to use uh, later on when we're doing our off-leash activities and also in situations in the home where we need to make sure that we're being very, very safe. So Zadie isn't a dog that we're going to have on the furniture because she's guarded it. She's been snappy over it. So it's definitely a privilege that we're going to pull back on. But it's very common when dogs go home that they try to fall back into their old bad habits. So should Zadie go home and immediately jump up on the couch, what we're not gonna do is grab her by the collar and try to pull her off. That is a really great way to get bitten, especially by a dog like Zadie. But now that we have our great new training and our e-collar communication, what we can do is use our training to have her disengage. So we can use a recall to call her off. Sadie is also gonna be learning the out command. So she's gonna be learning how to date, disengage herself mentally and physically from things that she wanted to guard or were really high value for her in the past and do that on her owner's command. 